Hi guys, it's May here. Welcome back to my channel everyone. For today's dish, it's not really a dish. It's some kind of like more on appetizer. So I'm going to make binangoongang baboy. So I use um, half a kilo of pork belly. And over here we have some onions and tomatoes. A little bit of ginger. A lot of scallions. And um one whole head of the garlic i also i'm also going to use the barrio fiesta sauteed shrimp paste and we have some nor seasoning um over here i use two white onions and then two of the big broma or beef steak tomatoes um i'm here in the garden guys so yes because i can't cook this one inside the house you guys know why so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some oil from this pork belly the reason why we are going to do that is because the oil from pork belly is very tasty and by using the pork belly oil it enhances the flavor of our binangoongan so we're going to extract some um oil from from this part of the pork. Friends, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention, I'm also going to uh, cook some dangit. I got this one from the Seafood City early this morning, so I bought three packs. It's kind of like expensive. It's uh, $2.49 each, but back home i know it's cheaper than that but it's okay because we we like having this one for appetizer as well okay friends our uh pork belly or pork side bacon starting to have um oil but uh we need to uh, remove some more oil from from this pork so this way it's nice to eat it Okay friends, now that our pork belly, they are in a golden color. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to saute the garlic. For those of you that would like to saute the onions first, that's fine. But I'll start mine with my garlic. Yeah. Mmm, smells good. I forgot my tripod, so <laughs> it's okay. There. So right now we're using the uh, the oil from the pork belly. Okay. Let's just give it for a minute or so, and then we're going to add the onions. Okay, after one minute, let's add the onions. Like again, I use the two regular size of the onions. So, this kind of appetizer is really good with rice, of course. Um, I also cook um, some pork bone soup, sinigang. So... This is with this, and uh, of course, we have dangget. My mom, she loves this, and the uh, dangget, fried dangget. So, we're just going to uh, give this onion maybe a minute or so, just to, you know, saute it more from the, uh, from the oil, and then uh, I'll show you guys the next step. Okay, friends, after two minutes, we're going to add a little bit of the ginger. So, I have a few slices of the ginger. And we are also going to add our tomatoes. Guys, you know, the secret of this um, particular dish is you use a lot of tomatoes and onions. And I'm also going to add my scallions or the green onion. And as you guys can see, those are just like mostly the leaves part. 
because the bottom part of this onion I made it into uh, a soup uh, I use it for my sinigang so let me just mix this one up I hope my neighbors will not get mad when I mix the uh, shrimp paste because oh my gosh the, <laughs> the smell that's why I couldn't cook this one inside the house okay so I'm just gonna mix the all the ingredients now with our pork belly yes that's how you do it you guys with the ginger I just put um few slices if you guys want this one spicy you can always add chili paste or you know the uh, just the regular Thai chili or habanero or uh, jalapeno yeah but since uh, the kids are also eating this one I'm not going to make this one spicy but you guys can also do it okay and I'm also going to add my one tablespoon of the nor seasoning mix Okay guys, I'll show you guys the next step, okay? Let me just uh, mix this one because it's so hard for me to um, to mix this and then uh, holding my holding this camera on my hand, so. Okay, let me come back. So guys, the next thing we're going to do is uh, I added the shrimp paste and you just have to mix all of them. Yeah, mix all of them good. Oh my gosh, I can smell now. <laughs> I hope my neighbors won't complain yeah um yeah so this is how easy it is uh, to uh, make binang oongan and then after this I'm going to cook the dangget and then we're gonna eat I'm gonna give my sister-in-law so so friends this is our tasty pork binang oongan Thank you guys for watching and see you guys on the next video. And thank you to all of my subscribers guys. We are close to 50,000 subscribers so I really thank you very much. See you guys on the next video. Bye!